Well, my name is Tim Peterson, and I'm here with my very good friend John Hall, uh, who uh, I'm very proud to say his, uh, his artwork is being shown at uh, Murphy Hill Gallery in Chicago on the west side of downtown. And uh, you know, I just like to talk to him a little bit about you know how his artwork has, uh, how he started getting back into uh, you know something that I believe is his true passion, uh, what brings him the most inner peace. And this one's called Beneath the Depths. And uh, John, if you can talk about a little bit how this came about. The swirling like, background. That's a style that I was kind of experimenting with in some other pieces. Uh, kind of just part of it on the sides of one of my paintings. And I wondered what it would look like if I did a painting that the entire thing was in that style. So the background was kind of created first. And as I did that, uh, I kind of just saw these other shapes kind of interaction with that. And, streaming down and this ended up being the, the result. I know in this one right here, uh -huh. it's called Torrent. Yes. You again have the swirlies in the back. Did you start with that or how did you do this paint? That one's totally different. Uh, this one is a unique piece because I actually uh, you can display it both ways, uh, vertically or horizontally. Pretty much, I did the background first, and you can see, I mean, if it's under the right lighting, you can see that there's a lot of different colors in there, uh, purples, blue, yellow, red, uh, greens, and it has a lot of different depth and detail. Um, this one is actually mixed media, because um, it might look like this is white, depending on what light you're looking at it, but it's actually uh, silver spray paint. That was the spray paint beneath that? And that's when you took the palette, or how did that the spray paint come in? It kind of came very much towards the end. Uh, as I was putting this design in, uh, kind of just it told me where it needed to go, and I kind of just put it in there, and it looks pretty cool. I mean, if you look at it that way, it kind of just goes all the way across the painting like this. So this way, it's not the same effect. But um, yeah, this one is one of my favorite ones. To be honest with you. Yeah, and speaking of favorite ones and kind of where the painting takes you, this one right here, definitely, is probably my favorite of all of them. I think, I think it's because it, uh, it represents so many aspects of not only nature, but you can look at it through so many different types of views. Uh, for me, it just uh, really engulfs my spirit when I look at it, and it's so bright and loud, uh, yet it's so soft at the bottom. Uh, and the lines go so well together, it's just got to be one of my favorites. When was this done? Well, I kind of took a hiatus from art for several years. I kind of got into writing, I was doing the novels, and then when I kind of put that to the side or stopped writing for a while, I just didn't really feel fulfilled. I uh, kind of focused on my career. Well, back in uh, August of 2008, um, I decided that I want to take up painting again, and I hadn't painted for quite some time, so... How long had it been? Uh, honestly, probably about 10 years. What I tried to do in the one piece was imagine if I never painted anything else again, what could I put together in one composition that could show people that didn't know that I did art what I was capable of doing, and that's what I ended up coming up with. So pretty much what I tried to focus on was uh, shape and uh, color. Texture. Those people, I mean, for the first painting that you, you know, basically your coming out party, if you will, in art, uh, you know, being what, what you've gone through in life, because that's really what art is all about. Going through something and expressing yourself. There's so many people, I was on my way here with somebody, and so many people wish they had that avenue uh, to express themselves, uh, kind of release it. I had a lot of questions. This one right here, I think. Uh, you know, as far as pieces are concerned, a lot of artists have signature pieces. To me, uh, and this is just personal, and I know a lot of people share this view, this is a signature piece for you because uh, it was the first piece you did, yet it was so powerful. Uh, you know, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very excited about uh, about what's going on, and, and this could not be a better uh, jumping off point for your career uh, in art uh, than, than anything you've done in my book. Uh, so I'm glad we ended up with this one, and I'm really proud of you. I'm, and I'm, uh, I'm really happy to be here. So, uh, you know, I'd like to uh, thank everyone for taking a look at what we're doing here, and, and definitely check out JohnHallGalleries.com. Uh, he's got a lot more on the way. Uh, let's just hope we don't have to wait 10 more years, but if we do, we're going to come up with something as good as this.